All right, guys. So welcome back here to another video for the Surface Duo. Now, this camera here, uh, I'm outside in the elements, uh, and it is ex actually storming right now. Or I will go ahead and walk out there. But I am going to show you this beautiful sky uh, because I feel like the Surface Duo deserves to be shown off with the cameras. Because I think the updates that they did, uh, I think they're substantial. I, I took a lot of photos, uh, and um, I, I just feel like the the, the cameras have improved. Now, um, this camera, I shouldn't say cameras, it's just a camera, it's one camera. There's no ultra-wide lens, there's no telephoto lens. You can zoom with the camera, uh, but um, it's definitely uh, just one camera. And this isn't anything that's against uh, the uh, Surface Duo, it's just they put one camera on here. This isn't the first. The device is so thin, and I think that's why the quality sometimes suffers uh, in video. Uh, but it is so beautiful out here, and um, man, the sky is is nice. The rain is coming from this way, so that's why I'm kind of sitting right here. My my big giant shed here kind of blocks me from getting wet, which is why I want to kind of close this off. I'm gonna put my shed up here anyway. Um, this is uh, the camera footage. This is a vlog from the phone. Now I'm trying not to cover up microphones and things like that because. I mean, um, this this footage uh, is early in the morning. The recording this video, uh, and uh, so I got my I got my early morning voice on. Let's be quiet and respectful of the neighbors. Um, this is a this is a, a good thing for me to bring it back. Um, when I do camera reviews, I do I use the product as though I'm using it like anything else. Um, the camera does have have video stabilization. Uh, so I do have it turned on, but again, I'm not going to walk around anywhere. Uh, it, it, even though it's nice and rainy, it's beautiful out there, but I, yeah, I'm not going out there. Um, the camera does have stabilization. It records in 4K60, uh, which is what I'm doing. Uh, I like to put cameras at their highest resolution. Sometimes that, that's not good, and, uh, because sometimes the stabilization doesn't work at that highest resolution. It works at actually 1080p, 30, which is more than enough for a lot of people. Uh, but... Um, I think these these cameras probably have greatly improved. Um, they do, like if I stand up, it'll focus on me. Like I'm gonna show you, it's it's not very bright out. Uh, but as I step out and I'll flip this around and put the light behind me, you see it'll it'll grab itself and wash out this entire air over here and stay focused on me. That's what it does, which isn't a bad thing. Just look how beautiful that looks. Now there's rain hitting me because, again, the rain is coming from this way. But just look at how, again, through the viewfinder, this looks fantastic. You know, I could take a bunch of photos, but, man, I'm, if I'm being honest, I don't do anything with dynamic range and all the different things. I, I don't mess with it. I do auto. I, I, and I think that's what the majority of people do, auto. Now, real camera fanatics and people who are actually professionals, they obviously, they don't shoot in auto at all. They just do manual. Now, manual video, that's something that I will do. Uh, but manual photos, not me, not the camera. So, it's, it's beautiful out. I want to show you this beautiful sky, nice and gray. Uh, it's, it's just fantastic. Footage is so beautiful outside right now. What you see is actually what it looks like, at least through the viewfinder. It looks great, man. See that beautiful sky? It's like one big giant cloud. It's so beautiful. Grass is nice and green. Get a really deep zoom. I really like it. I like the footage that's being produced from this uh, device. I'm not whispering, I just have my really early morning voice on, you know, respectful of the neighbors, even if they can't hear me, respectful of the neighbors. Look at that sky, it's beautiful. Alright guys, so I would recommend that you probably when shooting with the Surface Duo, turn off HDR. I just don't think it does well with HDR. I've done some testing and it comes across almost orange or red in a lot of situations and I don't like it. Uh, so um, the Surface Duo cameras um, will perform.
They will get the job done. Uh, you will not have a problem with them, that's for sure. I took those photos uh, in the first video. Um, <clears throat> I did it in a low light office setting with a couple of LEDs, and it came out. It came out great. Uh, but um, the Surface Duo is actually really solid, man. No problems whatsoever. So far, the software, if I'm being honest, still isn't on par for me. Uh, for the simple things like taking a screenshot, I t and you're probably thinking, Jay, why are you harping on that? Uh, I know I take a lot of screenshots because of my. Um, my Tab S7 Plus and some of the other Android devices, I like to take a quick screenshot and write on it and send it to people. And so that's why this, some things are important to others. Uh, and, and, and I know a lot of people probably don't take a lot of screenshots, but I do. And um, I think that's important for me. And I'm, but I'm glad that they, they fixed it. It's just kind of still kind of quirky. Uh, but having two screens again is absolutely great. So now my two daily drivers at the moment uh, is this beautiful iPhone purple here. And it handles the colors well. That looks pretty purple to me in this video. Um, uh, it, it, it's, it's this phone and the Surface Duo. Uh, and the Surface Duo, obviously, is going to be the productivity device that I use now uh, until I get tired of it or they bring in Surface Duo 2 or whatever, and we'll see how that works. But uh, it's your man, Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed a vlog from the Microsoft Surface Duo. A single camera device. I think it does pretty good. Let's put this in Power Director and see how it comes out. Well, you just saw how it came out. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.